Putin launches three-stage Ukraine war plan, he wants to turn this country into a lifeless conflagration. President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin ordered his army to seize Ukrainian cities after their destruction. To do this, the Russians have a three-stage plan. This was reported by the Czech edition of Aktualny Spravodajsvi. Russia launched a three-stage plan to seize Ukrainian cities after their preliminary destruction, the report reads. The publication noted that the first stage is aimed at spreading panic among civilians to force them to flee. During the second phase, KAB bombs will destroy residential buildings and industrial infrastructure of Ukrainian cities. In the third stage, Russian troops will attack destroyed and abandoned cities. During March, the Russians used a record number of cabs, more than 2,300. The production of three-ton FAB-3000 bombs was also resumed. Journalists suggest that under certain conditions, Russians hypothetically can use up to 5,000 KABs per month. Such a scenario threatens Ukraine with catastrophic consequences. Millions of Ukrainians will be forced to flee to Europe, which will be on the verge of a migration crisis, the media said. Russian President Vladimir Putin is preparing the ground for the largest humanitarian catastrophe in Ukraine. Another important goal for the enemy is the destruction of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. The Russians consistently attack cities near the front of the border, Sumy, Kharkiv, Nikopol, Dnipro, Krivyiri, Mykolaiv, Odessa, because the air defense system can't intercept all the missiles fired at close range. As a result, the maximum damage is caused to the energy infrastructure of the frontline cities. It is no coincidence that after these attacks, Russian propagandists began to write amicably that Ukrainians should flee Kharkiv, the city that suffers most from Russian cabs, the newspaper wrote. The media added that the resumption of production of FAB-3000 is an extremely alarming signal since the enemy will be able to easily destroy densely populated areas, thermal power plants, logistics and factories. As the Russians advance, cab strikes will force Ukrainians to flee their settlements. Against the backdrop of international inaction, Putin wants to turn Ukraine into a lifeless conflagration, the journalists added. Russian special services prepare new terrorist attack to blame Ukrainian partisans. Representatives of Russian special services are attempting to organize another terrorist attack. The goal of the provocation will be to further attempt to shift responsibility for it onto Ukrainian partisans and underground members, according to the Crimean resistance movement Atesh. It is noted that recently the coordinators of this movement have been regularly receiving messages from representatives of the Russian special services posing as local activists. They propose to carry out diversions in places of mass gatherings of civilians, the underground members say. The movement points out that the special services of the aggressor country are preparing a terrorist act and will try to blame Atesh for it. This is indicated in particular by a low level of indicators and an obvious systematic campaign against our movement. Moscow wants to mobilize as many Russians as possible with this provocation who will seek revenge for the Ukrainian terrorist attacks, the resistance forces add. They have already created numerous fake Atesh accounts, falsified dialogues with our coordinators and provoked our supporters to commit terrorist acts, the underground members report. The movement also pointed out that the fake accounts are almost identical to their previous coordinators, but with an additional S at the end. A reminder, we are working exclusively against the occupiers, the modern Czechists, are ready for any crime. Remember who your enemy is and do not forget that we are fighting for common freedom, the partisans emphasize. Recall on March the 22nd, in the Russian town of Krasnogorsk in the Moscow region, several armed men opened fire in the Crocus City Hall. That same evening, hints began to emerge in the Kremlin that the Ukrainian side could be involved in the terrorist act. One person died and several people, including a child, were injured in huge fire that started in a home in East Boston on Tuesday morning. The fire that started around 5 a.m. at a home on Meridian Street near West Eagle Street spread to two other homes, according to Boston Fire Department. The fire department said six people living in the home and a firefighter were taken to the hospital. One of them had life-threatening injuries. Four other people were rescued from the building, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries battling the blaze. I want to share my deepest condolences to the family who has lost someone here this morning. It's incredibly heartbreaking to feel what the family must be feeling, and we will do whatever we can at the city level to support all those who are displaced or are going to need some time recovering in the hospital," 
Mayor Michelle was set at a presser near the scene of incident. The fire has displaced around 30 people. According to Boston Fire Commissioner Paul Burke, damage caused to all three buildings is estimated at around $5 million.